now on Coast TV News. A quaint town at a crossroads, Milton faces a decision that could reshape downtown. A road closure about to happen in Lewis, when and why? And an alert at area advances in our neck of the woods in the form of flood advisories. We'll talk about the potential of a half an inch of rain along with some very breezy conditions. This is Coast TV News at 5. Good evening, I'm Madeline Overturf. And I'm Charlie Sakaitis. Welcome to our News at 5. We begin tonight on the health of King Charles. Buckingham Palace announced today that King Charles has been diagnosed with cancer. NBC's Megan Fitzgerald reports that the news comes a week after both Kate Middleton and King Charles were discharged from a private London clinic after individual procedures. According to Buckingham Palace, while the king was undergoing his treatment about a week and a half ago for his benign enlarged prostate, another issue was detected. After going through tests, it was determined uh, that the king does indeed have a form of, of cancer. Now, uh, the palace has not specified what type of cancer he has, but look, we did see the king yesterday on Sunday at church service up in Sandrium. Uh, he seemed to be in good form. He was waving and smiling to the crowd, but we do understand that he has returned to London where he underwent uh, treatment for his cancer and that there is a schedule of treatments in place uh, where doctors are advising him not to uh, appear in the public eye and to postpone his public duties until after treatment. But again, it's unclear uh, when that treatment will be completed. Uh, but look, you know, this is certainly an unprecedented time. We have never seen the palace be so transparent around um, the health of members of the royal family. But we know that the king has chosen to do so because he wants to be a role model to the world. He wants to encourage other people to get tested, to get checked uh, if they suspect something. Also, there is a source close to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, uh, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, that has confirmed that Prince Harry has spoken to his father uh, and does plan on traveling here to London to visit him in the coming days. Reporting in London, Meghan Fitzgerald, NBC News. The statement also mentioned that meanwhile, Kate is still in recovery from her abdominal surgery, but her husband, Prince William, is set to return to his royal duties by attending the London Air Ambulance Charity Gala Dinner on Wednesday. Kensington Palace previously said the Princess of Wales is unlikely to return to her royal duties before Easter, which is March 31st this year. Tonight, Milton takes a look at the proposal of an over 50,000 square foot building at Federal and Union Street. The building pictured here is proposed as a three-story building with room for shops on the bottom and then living spaces on the top two floors. The developer has plans for tenant parking, but the availability for public parking remains unclear as those options are now going to be looked at and existing businesses. This town is too precious and has too much to offer not to take care of infrastructure where people can actually park and shop because it's not really good for business if you can't park. This proposal is up for discussion and a possible vote at tonight's Milton Town Council meeting. That meeting is at the Milton Public Library and begins at 6.30 p.m. Drivers in Lewis, listen up. You're going to see some intermittent closures. Starting Monday the 12th, the closure begins due to road work at the intersection here, Robinsonville and Cedar Grove Roads. Also at the intersection of Beaver Dam and Dairy Farm Roads. That runs from Monday the 12th through Thursday the 15th. The road work is to convert those intersections to four-way stops. Delaware taking a bold step forward in wildlife conservation. The state got $120,000 from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service to protect the American kestrel. It's North America's smallest falcon that is now endangered in the state. The funding boosts efforts by DENREC to help those tracking the birds with innovative radio transmitters and expand a network with 10 new bird monitoring towers. The initiative aims to reverse the staggering population decline and preserve the species for future generations. As we take a live look right now into Lewis, beautiful view out there. Let's check in with our first alert, Chief Meteorologist Paul Williams 
on our first alert weather. Good evening, Paul. Good evening, Maddie. Yeah, the skyline has been absolutely inviting with blue skies. Even as you take a look, for example, in Dover, courtesy of our Bay Health camera, we're at 44 degrees at this present time. Dew point temperatures in the 20s. Now we anticipate it staying clear for the rest of the evening, dropping from 39 at 7 o'clock down to about 35 at 9 o'clock. Winds are going to stay relatively light for tonight. Won't necessarily stay that way. We do have a coastal flood advisory that's in effect for Sussex until 10 o'clock in the morning. This is for areas like you know, those who are close to the Bay areas or along the shore, possible inundation that could occur. Now, we also have a newly issued concern until midnight for Dorchester uh, for those areas that are near the bays as well. Also, along the shore, we're going to keep a close eye on the possibility of some very gusty winds, especially with the new advisory for the uh, small craft advisory that's issued, looking at about 25 mile per hour winds. Coming up, we'll talk more about where, how things are developing, and there's a bit of rain down the road that we need to talk about as well. Maddie? Thank you. For more weather updates, pull out your phone, scan this QR code for our first alert weather app. You can download the app for free to get all the weather updates you need. Now in Rehoboth Beach, the city is making its way for a new beach patrol stand and station and improved public comfort facilities. Today at Baltimore Avenue, and you can see it right here on your screen, the workers were on site taking down the old beach patrol station that was there. According to the city, work hours for Beach Patrol Station construction are going to be from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday and 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Saturdays. Another pedestrian safety project in Milford is seeking public safety. Tomorrow from 6 to 8, a public input meeting will be held at the Public Works facility on Vickers Drive. The meeting seeks public input on the North Rehoboth Boulevard and North Walnut Street corridor study. The focus is improving both pedestrian and bicycle safety there in Milford. The town of Ellendale has three vacancies on the Planning and Zoning Commission. Meetings are the third Wednesday of each month at 7 p.m. at Town Hall. The town says applicants must submit a letter of intent by tomorrow, so you got to hurry up for the town hall to be considered for the position. The applicants will be interviewed during the town council meeting to be held this Wednesday at the Ellendale Volunteer Fire Department. New tonight, after months of negotiation, senators released a bipartisan agreement that imposes tougher restrictions on immigration and asylum claims. Majority Leader Chuck Schumer promises a vote this week, but Republican leadership in the House, they're saying not so fast. As NBC's Alice Barr reports, the question is, will politics scuttle a deal that both parties have been trying to reach for decades? A deal is on the table for some of Congress's most pressing national security priorities. $60 billion to back Ukraine's fight, $14 billion for Israel, and $4.8 billion to counter China's growing influence, along with the most complex step, $20 billion to address the crisis at the U.S. southern border. The bill would trigger a shutdown at the border if more than 5,000 migrants cross per day. It expands the number of detention facilities and toughens standards for migrants seeking asylum. But House GOP leadership today saying the bill, quote, fails in every policy area needed to secure our border and that it is dead on arrival in the House. The top Republican negotiator Negotiator in the Senate, conservative James Lankford, urging his colleagues not to reject a chance for significant immigration reform after decades of gridlock. When we had a Republican House, Republican Senate, and President Trump as president, we weren't able to pass border security pieces. But former President Trump has vocally opposed the bill, calling it a trap to shift blame for the border to Republicans right before the election. Well, there's a clear choice for Republicans fix the border or keep chaos at the border because it helps Donald Trump. Pressed by NBC's Kristen Welker on Meet the Press, House Speaker Mike Johnson downplayed the former president's influence. He's not calling the shots. I am calling the shots for the House. A shot at helping to fix one of the most divisive issues in this country while supporting allies overseas now on the line. The Senate's top Democrat, Chuck Schumer, is planning to hold the first vote on the bill this week. He's hopeful that if it manages to pass in the Senate, that would put pressure 
on the Speaker of the House to at least bring it up for a vote in the House. Speaking of the House, it's set to vote Tuesday on the resolution to impeach Department of Homeland Security Secretary Alejandra Mayorkas. Mayorkas would be the only second cabinet member in history to be impeached. Republicans argue that impeachment hearings are needed due to record high illegal border crossings. And according to a GOP leadership aide, the vote will likely come in the late afternoon. The House Rules Committee will meet to advance the bill this afternoon. President Biden is expected to denounce the charge to impeach Mayorkas as a political attack. We are thrilled to announce that Coast TV has a brand new Facebook page. For the latest news, for exclusive content and interactive discussions, make sure to visit and follow our new page. Just head on over to facebook.com slash NBC. Or if that seems like a lot of letters, you can just pull out your phone and use the QR code here. It'll help you stay connected with us. The Denrec Division of Fish and Wildlife's lottery results, they're in what you need to know if you're selected or not. Sunshine makes a slow surge back into our area. When and where to expect more coming right up. First, Maryland's commercial striped bass fishing opens February 13th. See how limits aim to protect stocks and what fishermen need to know. That's up next. Hi, this is Warren Rosenfeld from Rosenfeld's Jewish Deli. Come visit Rosenfeld's in Rehoboth Beach on Coastal Highway just north of the outlets. See our much talked about wall murals and stay for the best corned beef, pastrami, Rubens, and outrageous desserts. We hope to feed you soon. From empty nester to first home, Accessible Home Builders does it all. It was great working with Scott at Accessible Builders. He called us every Monday and asked us to come over to the house at each step of the way during the construction of our home. It was pretty unique working with Scott because not only is he the owner, but he was working in here hands-on with his employees and really just trying to make our vision come to life. Design your dream home with accessible home builders. The beauty is hard to miss at Ocean City's premier golf course, Eagles Landing. Voted the number one golf course in Maryland by our players. Eagles Landing offers five sets of tees, making the course playable for beginners and challenging for most skilled golfers. Local residents receive discounted rates and earn points that can be used for free golf with our local rewards program. Find our best rates at eagleslandinggolf.com today. Eagles Landing, upholding the tradition of the game. When you smoke inside, you're not the only one who inhales. Secondhand smoke causes cancer and heart disease in adults, and respiratory problems in children, and SIDS in infants. If you smoke or vape, take it outside. Hi, this is Warren Rosenfeld of Rosenfeld's Jewish Deli, here at our South Bethany location, now with dine-in waitress service, 52 seats inside and another 52 seats on a four-season porch a full breakfast menu, and all of your Rosenfeld's favorites. We look forward to feeding you soon. This is Coast TV News at 5. Get the hooks and worms ready. Starting next week, February 13th, Maryland opens its short commercial fishing season for striped bass. That's going to last until February 15th. Each fishing permit allows catching up to 300 pounds of fish per week with a daily boat limit of 1,200 pounds. Fishing hours are from 3 in the morning, that is early, till 6 in the evening. Fishermen must report their catch on the same day, and the move helps manage fish stocks responsibly. Beach Heroes OC is back with its annual clean updates for this month. According to the organization Beach Cleanups, they start tomorrow on Route 50 East at the West Ocean City Park and Ride. Cleanups will be held every Wednesday in the Route 50 area and downtown inlet area from 9 to 10 a.m. Now, if volunteers need to get cleanup supplies, just go to City Hall. Taking care of your city in Milford, the fourth annual community cleanup is scheduled. That's going to happen on Saturday, April 13th from 8 to 10.30 a.m. The event is on rain or shine. The city says t-shirts will be provided to the first 200 people who register Children under 18 must be accompanied by an adult. It's looking like the uh, frosty forecasts are finding their way into our week for the morning for right now, but by the end of the work week, it's going to be a totally different story. An update on that story coming up. Welcome to Coast TV. Hi, 
Bob Hope and the Surf Bagel. Surf Bagel has served the community in Delaware for over 20 years, providing fresh hot bagels, breakfast sandwiches, lunch sandwiches, wraps, salads, local coffee and smoothies, and our iconic merch. Welcome to Surf Bagel. We're stoked to serve you. Welcome to Surf Bagel. I want to show everyone I'm more than a ventriloquist. No more puppets. Anything can happen. You completely disregarded our advice. AGT Fantasy League, tonight on NBC and Peacock. Come here, look at this. You think this guy was killed on live stream. Some feels off. Why risk killing someone when the whole world is watching? It's completely irrational. It's my specialty. The Irrational, tonight on NBC and Peacock. Have you had your tankless water heater service lately? All manufacturers recommend an annual service to be done by a certified specialist. So wait no longer and let Pemberton Appliance take care of your tankless service as soon as tomorrow. Pemberton Appliance offers a 19-point flush and inspection service that is fast, convenient, and no interruption to your day. Call today and take advantage of Pemberton Appliance's spring special and have your tankless water heater serviced immediately. Pemberton Appliance, celebrating 20 years in business. Have fun and enjoy Delmarva's Coast with Petey the Peacock. Coast TV's feathered friend and sharing joy coastwide. Know where he's going to be next and get his free coloring book at pdthepeacock.com. Brought to you by Tidal Hell. We're Coast Coast and we're Delmarva Proud. Over 14,000 people per day are affected by water damage in their home or business. Even a small leak from a water heater, washer, refrigerator line, or even HVAC drain can cause lasting damage. Response time is critical. Paul Davis has a team of certified experts on call 24-7 to stop the water, mitigate damage, and work directly with your insurance to quickly restore your home or business. If you see peeling paint, stains, mold, or smell a musty odor, call Paul Davis Restoration and Home Remodeling. Weather, brought to you by Paul Davis Restoration, your storm damage experts, here to help now. This week's weather is interesting in that in the morning time, it's going to feel like, you know, good old fashioned winter. But in the afternoon, it's going to start feeling at least looking a lot like spring before it starts feeling a lot like spring. I'll show you exactly what I mean in just a moment. First of all, courtesy of our Irish Eyes camera. Hey, we're at Lewis right now, holding at 40 degrees. The winds moving out of the north about two to three miles per hour. Temps are going to settle into the mid 30s as we progress throughout the rest of the night and we will have mostly clear skies. Light winds, clear skies, that's a combination for a chilly night. Even in Laurel, for example, courtesy of our Tindall casual furniture camera, we're going to drop down to freezing 32 degrees by nine o'clock. Now, this is what I would call more of a friendly freezing field. You know, the winds aren't coming out of the north and being, you know, really active, unless you're on the coast, because that's where we have a small craft advisory. Lewis, Indian Beach, Ocean View, Bayville, we're looking at 20 to 25 mile per hour wind gusts, and that's going to continue till about 7 o'clock Wednesday. Now, the same winds will be prompting yet another advisory from Ocean City all the way down towards Chincoteague. And then we have concerns for a coastal flood advisory. Now, this is kind of unique in that watching out for places like in Aswoman Bay, um, Rehoboth Beach Bay, those areas. Right in this area here, we could possibly see some inundation happening until like Tuesday afternoon. Tuesday morning. And then for Dorchester, a newly issued flood statement is active till midnight tonight for areas like Herlock Secretary, Linkwood, and any place along the water there because we have that chance of, of a possible inundation because of the tides coming in. We're obviously, well, I'm going to tell you now, it's obvious to me because I've done the homework. We don't have any rain coming this way. We have a trough, but no additional rain. So this, those concerns for flooding are all tide related. Well, you're going to the gym tomorrow morning. It's going to be chilly tomorrow morning, so pack your hoodie and a sweater or long sleeves. Not quite cold enough for a hat and gloves, but it's chilly, bona fide chilly. We're at 40s right now. We're at 42 in Georgetown, Milford, and in Del Mar. We're a little bit cooler, about four degrees cooler now than we were 24 hours ago. And as you take a look at our boardwalk forecast, listen, in the morning time, we start off with sunshine with winds out of the northeast between 8 to 10 miles per hour, but it stays bright. In fact, as you take a look at our future cast, you'll see, look at those winds coming out of the northeast for Tuesday. Temperatures in the 30s. We'll flip it to the 40s by the afternoon. Wednesday, here's what we're expecting. Temperatures in the mid-30s, then we'll flip it over into the 40s once again and stay there. 
And then we keep a close eye on what Monday's looking like. Monday, next Monday, we're looking at some heavy showers that could possibly move through. So till we get to Monday, we're okay. For example, Wallops Island, we'll cruise through partly to mostly sunny skies and 50 degrees by Thursday. Same holds true force in South Bethany, and we're expecting the same actually in Cape Henlopen, well, 48 degrees to be exact. So here's as we round up the forecast, mostly clear tonight in 29. 42 with limited sunshine, particularly in the late afternoon hours, and 45 on Wednesday, a tad warmer by then. Here's a look at your Paul Davis Restoration Home Remodeling Extended Forecast. One quick note, we have a new feature here called our Yellow Alert. This means that the weather's going to turn on us on Monday, not quite severe, but show sure enough ugly and uncomfortable. Paul, thank you. Attention hunters, here's a friendly reminder from the Delaware Forest Service. The agency says, please remove your deer stance as deer hunting season, it's over. They hope to see more hunters next season. Time to talk turkey. The Denrec Division of Fish and Wildlife has announced the completion of its 2024 Wildlife Area Turkey Hunting Permit Lottery. Out of the 836 hopefuls, 500 lucky applicants have been selected to receive those permits for the season. Those selected and those not will find out via mail with permits or postcards expected to arrive within the next two weeks, so keep an eye out for those. Selected hunters, remember to return the included survey card with your permit to secure your eligibility for next year's hunt. Soccer fans, or if you want to be more worldly about it, football fans, great news. New Jersey will host the 2026 FIFA World Cup at MetLife Stadium. The global soccer governing body says the tournament will consist of 104 matches across the U.S., Canada, and Mexico. It will also feature 48 national teams instead of the previous 32. Canada, Mexico, and the U.S. are automatically placed in the tournament. They'll each play their group stage matches on home soil. Meanwhile, the quarterfinals will be in Boston, L.A., Miami, and Kansas City, Missouri. The semifinals will be in Dallas and Atlanta. Coming up, tune in for details on the Maryland Horse Industry Board Meeting. We'll cover the latest initiatives and insights from board members and stable inspectors. Stay tuned on Coast TV News at 5. The job of a Delaware Electric Cooperative employee is dangerous, but the biggest threat our team faces may come from you. Drivers are putting our crews in danger, speeding past line workers while they restore power. Help our co-op employees return home to their families at the end of the day. Slow down or move over when you see utility employees and first responders working along area roads. It's not just the right thing to do, it's also the law. Stay safe, stay vigilant, move over, and slow down. Late Night with Seth Myers. Late Nights on Coast TV. Sometimes it takes a different approach. Hey, that's Mrs. Johnson, right? to see the possibilities all around you. Ten. You gonna have a big birthday party? Right, are you feeling okay? With Capella University's game-changing FlexPath format, you can earn your nursing degree without putting life on hold. Imagine your future differently with Capella University. Jump at your chance to win big at Ocean Downs with Leap into 24. Shoot a frog onto a lily pad to win free play. Plus, earn finalist entries for a chance at $24,000 cash. Ocean Downs Casino, where the fun shines. Uncover the perfect blend of comfort, innovation, and safety at Gateway Subaru. And right now, it's your choice. Choose what fits your lifestyle and budget. Choose to lease a new 2024 Subaru Forester for only $2.99 a month. Or take advantage of financing rates as low as 2.9%. Choose to lease a new 2024 Subaru Outback for only $2.99 a month. Or take advantage of financing rates as low as 1.9%. Gateway Subaru, where every choice leads to a new adventure. Love, it's what makes a Subaru a Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. Download the DSN app today, driven by Preston Automotive Group. You may think your home's crawl space is okay, but chances are, it's not. Mold, pests, and rotting beams can all cause problems for your home and for your family. The good news is, your home's crawl space problems can be fixed permanently, so you and your family can rest easy. Because crawl space problems won't get better with time, but they will get better with us. Call Dry Zone today for your free estimate. Brought to you by Dry Zone, your local crawlspace experts.
A meeting of the Maryland Horse Industry Board that will be held February 15th at 10 a.m. by teleconference. Now, the meeting includes current information and discussion concerning the horse board initiatives with updates from board members and reports from, very important here, stable inspectors. New tonight, only 4% of registered voters in South Carolina cast ballots in the state's Democratic presidential primary that was held on Saturday. In 2020, more than 500,000 Democrats voted in the primary. It was just 131,000 this year. But at least one Republican operative in the state is spinning this as a positive for former President Donald Trump, not specifically against President Biden, but against Nikki Haley. It looks like, appears like uh, Donald Trump is going to win by uh, huge margins. And if it were perceived as being close, then maybe we'd see a lot of Democrats cross over and vote in our primary, as uh, probably happened in other states like New Hampshire. South Carolina's Republican presidential primary, that's going to be held on February 24th. Coming up, Felton's rescued animals find homes. Look at that. The Aww. joyous outcome for 76 pets. Stay tuned on Coast TV News at 5. Furniture Land's President's Day sale is going on now. Save 20% off select brands store wide or get 0% APR for 60 months. Furniture Land, from here to home. When your job feels humdrum, you can still find that fun. I take a chance at you spend the whole day working that five game parlay i'll take philly plus two yes. when taking a chance becomes a victory dance it's so fun to do or you go money line it comes through you feel fun more than fun it's true life would be dull if we never took a chance bet rivers take a chance i'm attorney ben schwartz part of what i do is represent the families of people who've been killed in tractor trailer accidents the law for tractor trailer accidents is different from regular car accidents. If you need help with one of these cases, then it's important that you find a trial lawyer with experience handling commercial motor vehicle collision cases. I hope you never get tangled up with a big rig, but if you do, tip the scales of justice in your favor. Call Schwartz & Schwartz today. Simplify your kitchen with a pull-out trash can, organized spice rack, or sliding shelves. At Paul Davis, we designed your kitchen to work with your life. And Paul Davis won't tear out your kitchen, so you don't have to worry about months of disruption. And you'll save money. Instead, let us reface your kitchen cabinets in the latest style and color in just three days. Right now, Paul Davis is offering free installation with no money down, no payments, and no interest for 12 months. Call Paul Davis for a free estimate. We'll come see you as soon as tomorrow or visit our new showroom in Salisbury. Get amazing Ford Bronco deals during the President's Day sales event going on now at Boulevard Ford Lincoln in Georgetown and Lewis. Get 0% APR financing for 60 months on a new 2023 Bronco Sport. Save thousands off MSRP on all 2023 Broncos in inventory. Every new vehicle purchase comes with our Preston for Life lifetime engine guarantee. Visit BoulevardAuto.com to see our entire inventory. The President's Day sales event going on now at Boulevard Ford Lincoln in Lewis and Georgetown. Cars cost less with Preston. Furniture Land's President's Day sale is going on now. Save 20% off select brands store wide or get 0% APR for 60 months. Furniture Land, from here to home. A hoarding situation in Felton got adopted over the weekend. There are those cute little guys. 66 dogs, 9 cats, and 1 bird in total were taken in. Criminal charges are pending against the owner. Well, congratulations to those owners. Let's take a look at our Tyndall Casual Furniture camera. And we're looking at a very clear skyline here with temperatures falling from the 40s to like freezing by 9 o'clock in the morning. Now, we do have a couple of advisories to pass along to you. Coastal flood statement is active for us in Dorchester till midnight. And also, we have concerns for a coastal flood, coastal flood advisory for us in Sussex. Basically, these are both connected to the high tides. We're not expecting any additional rain or anything like that. And we do have somewhat gusty winds for us along the shore with our small craft advisory here's a look at your exclusive 10-day forecast real quick reminder this is our alert day meaning that weather turns bad not severe but bad enough where we want you to pay close attention 
Paul, thank you, and thanks for joining us here for Coast TV News at 5. For more news, for more local weather, download our Coast TV News app. Inside Edition is up next. And we're going to see you later tonight for Coast TV News at 6. Have a great evening.